A Metroidvania pinball hybrid isn't a thing I ever expected to exist, but Yoku's Island Express feels like a breath of fresh air. It's fun, adorable, and wonderfully unique, and I enjoyed every minute I spent with its charming, secret-filled campaign. Yoku's Island Express creatively fuses a traditional Metroidvania game with pinball mechanics in a way that feels surprisingly natural. You take control of a tiny beetle postmaster, pushing around a ball and making deliveries on a large open world island. There's a fairly simple but cute story to follow, alongside a hefty amount of side quests and collectibles. While the bulk of Yoku's gorgeous 2D levels might seem like a familiar run and jump platformer, you can't actually jump at all. Instead, you have to use paddles, bumpers, and tracks scattered around the island to bounce your ball around obstacles, dragging Yoku along with it. You know, like playing pinball. As you explore, you'll drop into distinct areas that are basically small pinball tables, each with their own lanes to fire down and skill shots that require sometimes frustratingly precise timing. I really enjoyed these contained challenges, and Yoku uses them in clever ways. Many have doors you need to unlock by collecting purple gems on the table. Others can take the shape of epic and difficult multi-ball boss battles. Before I unlocked the adorable beeline fast travel system, I did find myself having to retread the island's core paths a lot. Replaying the same tables each time I wanted to go through an area got a bit repetitive. Thankfully, other paths open up during the story, but it also made re-exploring areas for secrets as I unlocked new movement abilities less exciting. But personality overflows out of every corner of Yoku's Island, and I enjoyed meeting all of its quirky inhabitants. One wanted me to spread mushroom spores around the island, while another asked me to bring back baubles I could use to customize the look of my ball. While the campaign smartly doesn't overstay its welcome at five or six hours long, collecting all 80 of Yoku's hidden wickerlings and a handful of other secrets made me want to keep playing even after the credits rolled. Even if it's occasionally frustrating, Yoku's Island Express has a refreshingly positive attitude that had me smiling the whole way through. For more platforming, watch our reviews of Runner 3 and Iconoclasts. Or for more pinball, check out our look at the fancy new Pirates of the Caribbean pinball machine. And for everything else, keep it right here on IGN.